guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be talking about my experience with living at home and being like completely honest with you about it just because it's kind of that time of year when I think most people are kind of deciding like what uni they want to go to and finding accommodation and things like that. So I thought I'd give you my experience and tell you how I found it just because I found these videos so helpful when I was deciding. I feel like the biggest decision you have to make about going to uni is whether you're gonna live away from home or stay at home and like travel to uni and I just think it would be helpful if I told you guys my complete honest experience and yeah, hopefully you'll find it helpful. <laughs> if you do enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and yes, let's get into the video. I'm gonna kind of break this down into topics. I have like a big, like page of notes all about this because I have like so much to say about it. Start with, just so you know, I do travel to uni. I've been doing it for like a year now. I've basically finished my year at uni. I've got like a few weeks left and then I'm done. But yeah, the commute to uni for me is about 40 minutes away, um, but I get the train and yeah, it tends to take like 40 minutes if you include like driving to the train station and things like that. So I think that the biggest thing that I worried about personally when I was kind of like making my decision of whether I was gonna move away or stay here was whether I would actually like be able to go out at all. Obviously like if you live at home and your uni is like 40 minutes away like for me, I can't just go out and then come home because the taxi is like 40 pounds and it's just like not even worth it. So far in like my whole uni year, I've been out three times maybe. Um, so yeah, not a lot compared to most people who go out like every single week. That was like the biggest thing that worried me as well and that has happened. If you wanna go to uni for going out and like getting drunk and stuff and going out with your friends, then living at home probably isn't for you because you won't be able to do it as often. Obviously, if you live in like the same town as your, your uni, like you're literally like five minutes away, it's so much easier, but I don't. And most people don't, I think. I think the main reason for this is because my friend who lives at uni, she doesn't really like going out anyway. Um, so I can't really stay with her because she obviously doesn't like like going out or want to go out. And then my other close friend is commuting to uni as well. So she doesn't have anywhere to stay. So yeah, that's just the way it is. It doesn't really bother me. I think some weeks it bothers me more than others. I love going out, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy it, but it's not something that like bothers me massively, like the fact that I'm here and can't really go out. Something that would bother a lot of other people more than it bothers me, so it's fine. I'm kind of over it, but that is probably like one of the biggest downsides to living at home. Kind of moving on to this, I'm gonna talk about friendships. So a lot of people think that you won't make friends if you stay at home because you won't be able to see them as much and you won't make friends in like halls and things like that. Personally, I have been really lucky. I made a friend who lives in like the same area as me on like a Facebook group page thing and we like travel to uni together now and yeah, I'm literally so glad that I became friends with her because she's like my gym buddy now and everything. Shout out to you, Megan. I have made friends, like, I was so worried that I wouldn't make friends just because of like what everyone's told me and like what I've seen from other people. But I have, like it was so easy and I feel like I've got such a good group of friends and yeah, like that hasn't been an issue for me at all and that doesn't like affect me. I actually went to VidCon with two of my friends this year, which is mad. Like if you had asked me this time last year if I thought that, my dogs, oh my God. If you had asked me this time last year if I thought I would be going on holiday with two friends that I met at uni. I would have been like, no way, like, that's not gonna happen. And it did, and I'm like so happy. They both do YouTube as well. You've probably seen them in my vlogs if you've seen that. So that's like awesome, and yeah, it's like so nice having friends that do like the same thing as you because literally no one else I know does YouTube. So finding two people on my course that do it is just like the best thing ever and it's so nice to like have people to talk to about it. Obviously I don't see them as much as I would like to. In terms of friendships, no, that hasn't been affected. And honestly, if you hear people say like, oh, you won't make friends, 
don't listen to them because you will. Trust me, if you make an effort, you will. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is the actual traveling. As for the traveling, it is a lot of effort because you have to get up so much earlier than people in uni. Like, they can get up like half an hour before their lectures if you want. I have to get up like two hours before. And that's just honestly like so much effort. And not only that, but actually getting to uni takes so much effort as well. I'm actually really, really lucky in the sense that I have a car so I can like drive myself to uni if I want. I don't, I get the train, but I can drive myself to the train station and stuff. If you don't drive, I think you might find it a bit more difficult because you might have to get buses. Like my friend Kim, she gets two buses, I think. And it takes her so long to get home. I feel so bad for her. Like, it takes her so much longer than me. Personally, for me, it doesn't really bother me that much because, like, I can get to the train station and the train journey is only, like, 20 minutes. Depending on how many days a week you're going to be in, I know you probably won't know at this stage, but for me, I'm literally in two days a week. Like, that's it. Like, expensive travelling is nothing. It's, like, £10 return for me per day. So I only spend, like, £20 plus like four pound to park, so it's really not that bad. Um, if you're gonna be in like every single day though, that's when it could become a bit more expensive. So if you're gonna be doing that, then definitely look at like the monthly or season tickets because you can save like so much more money. So obviously like public transport isn't that reliable. So like sometimes you might be late. To be honest, that's never really happened to me. Like my trains are normally always on time. Yeah, that's it. Like traveling doesn't really bother me to be honest. Like I love driving don't really love the trains that much but it doesn't really bother me like trains are so much better than buses for me so I really don't mind as for money this kind of links with traveling I guess even though you are gonna be spending money on traveling you are gonna have so much more money like my student loan covers more than I need like way more than I need I guess it does kind of depend what student loan you get to be honest like what maintenance loan you do get dogs honestly like whenever I try to film or speak it's just like okay I think he's done now I think he's done so obviously with like money you're not gonna have to pay for like student accommodation or rent or food or whatever else they pay for I don't really know I have to pay your parents some rent money I don't know it depends on your situation but yeah like you do save a lot of money so I guess that is a plus side like for me, if I had gone to uni um, and like moved away, I wouldn't have been able to get my car. And honestly, my car is my life. Like, could not live without it anymore. <laughs> In a way, that is like the main reason I'm happy I didn't go because I have my car and I have money and I can go shopping. And yeah, it's just like, oh, so much less stressful. I'm one of these people that I cannot not have money, if that makes sense. Like, it stresses me out. I like knowing that I'm secure and I feel like that, so it's all good so yeah that is a big plus side of like staying at home you do save so much money and being able to like save up my money whilst I'm at uni is gonna help me so much once I finished uni like so much and also with like work experience and stuff if I want to go to London because I'm doing journalism London is kind of like the main place then I can like pay to stay there for like a week or like however long so that's kind of like the plus side I guess so next I'm going to talk about like time um by like not living at uni, I feel like I have so much more time just because I'm not going out as much obviously. So I have so much more time to do things like YouTube. I feel like if I went to uni, I would never have started YouTube. And that like scares me so much because now YouTube is like such a big part of my life and thinking that like I wouldn't have started it because I went to move to uni is like really scary. I just feel like I have a lot more time because I have like my own space to do things if that makes sense like to do things that I want to do and then finally I'm gonna talk about family um, obviously I can see my family like all the time like I see my mum and brother like every single day which is awesome and then I can still see like my dad and my sisters and stuff like regularly and I don't know like family is such a big thing to me and being away from home would like freak me out. I feel like the fact that I can like see my family whenever I want to. Also like I can see my boyfriend Alex whenever I want to as well. He literally lives like five minutes away and if I'd gone to uni I feel like it would have put so much pressure on our relationship. Being here it just makes things like so much easier. Yeah that's basically everything I have to say about living at home. If you are like scared about it then leave some questions down below of like anything I haven't covered because I'm sure I've probably missed something out. Don't feel pressured into moving away for uni if you don't want to because I know that everyone says to you that like you won't have the same experience and you'll be bored and you won't go out and stuff and you won't make friends 
but it's not like that and I hope this has kind of reassured you if you do want to stay at home. I regret my decision. No, I don't. I'm actually really happy with my decision to stay at home. Sometimes there's days when I'm like, oh, I really wish I lived at uni. But like those days are quite rare and it's only like days when I'm really bored because normally I am quite a busy person. Like I keep myself busy with YouTube and stuff and I work and I go to the gym and like I see friends and stuff. So yeah, I know that like this was like a really big decision for me to make. So hopefully this has helped you guys because I know it's like so scary. Basically deciding your future, like it's gonna affect your future so much, whatever one you choose. Like moving away or staying at home, like I think that's such a big decision. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you wanna see any other university related videos in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.